I forgot. We have sound! We have sound! I am me. Me am I. Mamma mia. I'm gonna turn this down a little. Because that's even loud in my headphones where it's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy moly. Holy shit. Oh, wait, I can't swear on YouTube. You boob. Yeah, boy. The real question is, where is the little thing that'll tell me whether or not I'm getting uh, copyrighted? I don't know. I don't know where that is. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. The truest type. I am here. I even posted a thing on both Tic Tac because I started uploading on Tic Tac. Yeah, Tic Tac. Um, and also YouTube Shorts. So I slapped down uh, one of my usual shorts. I said, hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, but I also like put in a little thing of I'm live at the end. So huh, maybe more people will show up. Who knows? So honestly, oh. We'll have to see about that. I also came on here mostly because, like, I was a bit bored, but also just kind of, like, lonely. I needed, like, some more human interaction. You know, we needed a little bit of something because I was just, like, mm. my brain kind of just, like, spilling all of its... the juices... Uh, the thought provoke you know what whatever <laughs> I can't even come up with a good exact thing I <laughs> missed you nerd a lot and I missed you too I missed having my audience I missed having an audience period are you kidding me it hurts after a while you're just like oh what well. months <laughs> oh it's nice to be in like the discord and all that One of the other things I want to do for streaming for today is because I have a few, like, stories in my head that I keep failing to actually record. So, I need, like, an audience. Do you have, like, an audience you're actually, like, telling a story to? It feels better, you don't have to script it as much. I do them a lot better when I'm at like a one-on-one -on -one interaction, which is almost kind of like how I feel like streaming. When it comes to streaming, chat is one person. I mean, it's, it's literally right now one person. But even when it was multiple people, there's chat, my, my camera, you, 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 and then me. It's like a one-on-one, -on -one, even if it is like... 10 people, like it was on Twitch. But now we're working from the ground up <laughs> all over again. My God. We're starting from the beginning again. You remember the beginning? You were there for the beginning? The beginning was last year, actually. It really wasn't all that. This microphone's the worst. It has a faulty connection, this thing right here. So if you wiggle it out of place accidentally, 
it will just disconnect entirely. It's bad. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, what was I was gonna say? Anyway, I want to get on to like actually like telling a story through my streams, so I can actually like get videos out there. Uh, I can actually show you what I'm working on. I have a Tic Tac, a Tic Tac account. It is currently pulled up. We posted yesterday. Uh, let's disconnect it from this. Nope, that didn't disconnect fully. So, oh, this one to full mode. Now let's bring this one out here. So we can bring, drag Tic Tac over. And uh, let's show you. There it is. Drag. This is the Tic Tac. We've been working on working on tic tac we have a tic tac we have the youtube youtube which by the way these shorts the youtube shorts are the same as the tiktok shorts so if you're already part of youtube don't go to tiktok i am simply doing tiktok to grab people from that platform and bring them here uh, we also now have a Twitter. Of course, Twitter isn't, like, immediately pulled up. Give me one second. Twitter. I made a new Twitter. Am I really doing a lot with it? Not really. However, to actually, like put some effort into being like active on the platform uh not so much like actual like posts but just like retweeting things i think are cool from like pokemon and following like mostly like pokemon tcg creators so i get like to be a little more in the know about what's exactly going also i love this artwork this thing's amazing Hang on. Let's see if i can find the actual it shows all three of them You got the little, you got the little Rowlet. You got the Curlia. And she, she has a kid now. And then it was Gardevoir. Hanging out with these, uh, these two middle-aged. You got, you got our, got our pair of boomers with their Gardevoir. It's adorable. It is absolutely adorable. I love this thing. That's essentially, it. just repacking things uh sometimes i grab like little snippets of things i think are funny and then repost them on like a community tab am i taking content no nah, not really you're taking like twitter posts and you're putting them on youtube yeah whatever who cares it's fine yeah we can tweet right now first youtube stream And then let's just take the URL of the stream. Uh, stream URL or backup server URL. This one is correct. Do, 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 do. Hey, we're about to go into Inception. Ready? Let's see if this is unmuted or not. It's not muted. Look, it's total Inception. Look, he's right up here. He's right up here. He's right up here. He's about to point his finger up here. We your war crimes? He's about the point. He's about the point. He's about the point. Also, wow, there's a lot of delay. There's a lot of delay. Give me a second. The funny, the funny will happen. <laughs> we open a third one. <laughs> well, that took way too long for the joke. And paste. <laughs> yeah, that's taking a long time to load. Oh, 
it just doesn't want to have a thumbnail. Oop. Nope. Go back. Oh, we also have to put something on the community tab. Because of course we have to put something on the community tab. Uh. Whoa. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Community. See? Ah, uh, sure, I'm okay. Screw off. See? You know, repackage re re it. Just, just, just take a little snippet from a Twitter post, you know, crop it in there and whatever. Is it really bad? Nah, not really. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Keep going. Have to go back to this stupid thing. Oh, there it is. Look at my own live stream. Um, add an image. <laughs> We're gonna drag the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> uh, edit preview. Uh, let's see here. What do I even want to put here? I have a great idea. We're going to grab from the googly eye pictures. So I made a thing. <laughs> Post. <laughs> Sticking googly eyes on cards. You like it? <laughs> like googly eyes on cards? I think they're great. I even stuck a googly eye on the thumbnail. See? It was a googly eye. <laughs> it's great. Oh, look, we got stuff. Let's re up this thingy and see if anyone actually watched it. Yo, we got one? Amazing. 10 out of 10. Do you know you really have to see these cards? Tweet my war crimes. I can't really tweet my war crimes if I've never been to war and I don't commit crimes. Big brain. Just don't commit crimes. Simple. Easy. Easy peasy. Just never commit crimes. Uh, let's see here. Actually, let's put you here. Because then I can see chat better. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I get to see myself twice. I don't really want to. Let's see here. How do I turn this off? Can't. Oh, well. I'm having a little too much fun. Also, I like this over Twitch. I don't have to, like, worry about... Just... Like, worrying about the whole viewer side. Let's see if I can get Starlight in here. Let's see if I can respond to him. And maybe he'll respond back. Also, we're going to basically create a YouTube video right here, right now. And we're going to post it on a completely different channel that isn't even my main one. Boom. So this is about to happen. Let me see here. Let me whip out the script. The script arena. Do I even have a script? I don't have a script for this one. I'll leave the task manager up there. <laughs> That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. Boom, 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 boom. 
task manager. I like crash and burn. Also, like, do the setup for Scarlet and Violet real quick. That's the game we're playing. Because I have not played. As a Pokemon man. Still. In one moment, please. Oh. I didn't plug it into the USB 3. Alright, any time now, any day. Any. Gamers. Oh. What that? That's why it was crashing early. Oh. Oh, this makes so much more sense. Oh, we're taking out Bowser's Fury. Pokemon Scarlet. Where's Pokemon Scarlet? Oh, where'd you go? Pile of Switch games. They're a big pile of Switch games. That I play sometimes. Uh, let's see here. Splatten. This thing. Legends Arceus. Pokemon. Pokemon, but not the right one. Minecraft. Mario Maker. Super Mario Odyssey. Are you kidding me? I thought it was in that pile. Huh? Huh? What in the hell? My bag and I'm in. Oh no. Nerd loses the video game. Going to. Super Smash Bros. Mario Party. That's not what I'm looking for either. Somewhere? I don't have the I'm um, looking for I can subscribe. Oh, there it is. Jesus Christ. I'm going to lose my mind. I have Scarlet. Get it. Under the stack of cases. We'll download its updates. And in the meantime, have a chit chat. It's chit chat time. Hi, I'm back from the dead. I have finally come back. 
to make stuff. What I mean by stuff? Uh, stupid edits, Pokemon content, and uh, honestly, just telling you what I think, what I feel, what I'm doing, what I'm feeling like. Is it really the best type of content on this channel? No. However, do I like making it? Do I like doing little editings of videos? Do I like just talking to, to a wall? Yes. Yes, I like talking to a wall and a camera. Because I'm clinically insane. But I want to talk to you about the main inspiration that brought me here today. My main inspiration is talking to someone who essentially was a loser. Now, that may seem really, really harsh, but I don't think that's necessarily enough to describe this particular human, this loser. <laughs> and no, 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 I was not talking to Amir. Shut the fuck up. I was not talking to Amir. So I was playing Jackbox with one of my friends, Awesome. Absolutely amazing streamer. Definitely check him out. Streaming Jackbox with him. One of his viewers stayed behind in call a little later, and he was talking about, like, he can't find a job. So this is after stream. <clears throat> We're hanging out for a bit, saying, like, he's tried everywhere. He's tried working at GameStop, Walmart, Target. He's trying, like, applying to a bunch of different places, saying he just can never get a job. So I'm intrigued. I'm like, have you tried warehouses? Have you tried this? Have you tried that? He says, no, 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 no. I start to realize he's someone who makes a lot of excuses for himself to drive away this feeling of guilt that he is not putting in his fair share of work and effort towards making his life better. And he's saying like, man, I, I kind of want to be a streamer. I kind of want to be a YouTuber. I'm like, okay. Uh, what equipment do you have? Says so he's got a uh, one of these. See if I can actually even turn it on. He says he has one of these, a little itty bitty stream, one of these little cameras, and a headset mic. I'm like, oh, oh, buddy, oh, buddy, that's uh, that's not gonna work there, man. He's like. Why not? It's fine. I'm like, oh, okay. So maybe you do get away with just a headset mic. And a bad webcam. What do you want to stream? Do it. Uh... Well, okay. Uh, what do you want to make content about? Uh... Do you know how to edit? Yeah, I use Windows Movie Maker. I'm like... <laughs> Ask him, like, do you know how to make thumbnails and edit pictures? He says, yeah. And he sends me... A, a picture he edited in, like, the Windows default software in Photos uh, by upping up the brightness and turning down the contrast. To make the photo look better. And nothing else. And uh. That's when I realized. Uh oh. <laughs> but more importantly. You can make content. No matter how bad you are. No matter how little equipment you have. I mean assuming you don't have any. It's a little different. But you can make content. No matter what you, what you have. It doesn't have to be on the internet. You can do whatever you want. Assuming that you have enough drive to do so. The issue is that he started reminding me of me. I have all the equipment I could ever want for streaming. Not all I could ever want, but close enough. I have what I need. There's even a TV right there in my face. Actual television. I hooked it up to my computer. Two monitors. This amazing camera. Uh, lights. A good microphone. When it works. 
A Switch, a good headset. I've got tons of things. I have the time. I have somewhat of a personality. Oh, kill me. <laughs> I have stuff. I have a handful of friends that want to hang out with me that can do this sort of thing. But when it push comes to shove, there are times where I just say, I'll do it later. And the I'll do it later attitude is not, it's not right. It's not what you need. It will get you nothing. Saying that I'll do it later means you'll, you'll just be a nobody. You're a nobody. You're, you're a worthless piece of garbage. I'll do it later. And that's what I've been doing. I've been saying I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll edit my shorts later. I'll edit my videos later. I'll stream later. I'll stream another time. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And next thing you know, you're months down the road. You've been doing jack shit this entire time. Wake up and you go, wow. I've really done nothing, have I? Because <laughs> right now, uh, well, I don't have a job. <laughs> I, I actually just straight up don't have a job. I had a job. Two of them, in fact, uh, n not too long ago. Uh, one of them was a seasonal job and the other one was an actual job. Uh, the actual job fell through and the seasonal thing, as you can tell by it being called seasonal, was seasonal. So now it's just me. I don't have a job. And even with not having a job for like, eh, give or take a week. It's been like a week. Um, <clears throat> I still haven't done anything with it. I haven't like created content. I haven't like really pushed myself to make anything. I've had a very similar example and watched a similar example in one of my friends. Uh, Wingless Valkyrie. He had about three weeks off of work and they were paid weeks off of work. Just didn't do anything. He did like two videos, maybe a couple shorts. Outside of that, like didn't really push for content, nothing like insane like on Twitter or Instagram. Just kind of left it be. And then we asked him about it. And there was like a distinct lack of drive. He enjoys streaming. And he's an, and he enjoys making YouTube videos. But there's like this disconnect from like making it your job and having it be this thing that you constantly do. You do a little bit of it and you lose the drive to do it. What I want to do is somehow change that. Now that I've seen it in someone that I admire, and I've seen it in someone that I consider to be kind of a loser. I'm not calling Wingless Valkyrie a loser. Okay, okay. I love you. Love you, bud. <laughs> I fucked up all your thing. I want to push myself to actually make the content that I used to. I miss being the guy that would had a consistent schedule for streaming, had a consistent schedule for YouTube videos. It was fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy making content. But this persisting thing of just saying, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it the next day, I'll do it then, I'll do it later, is killing me. Every single time that I just don't do anything, You'll, I'll explain it later. I love you, by the way. <laughs> With context, it makes sense. Don't worry about it. With context, it makes sense. I swear. I was talking about having a lack of drive for making content. <clears throat> Here, we'll just segment this part out of the video that's going to become a YouTube video on a later date. So I was basically 
I'll make it a short one for you. Talk to a guy that I met after playing Jackbox with him on a stream, on my other friend's stream. He was making excuses for like not doing things, including like working, not making content, not doing anything, basically. Like making like, thinking like the world, in his head, the world is out to get him, sort of deal. But not in like a schizophrenic way, and more of like a, I've done everything I can, and I'm lazy sort of way. But then saying, like, it's not always a matter of just being lazy. Sometimes you can lose the drive for things. And I used you as an example of, like, there you had, like, the three weeks off of work. And you made, like, a couple videos and whatnot. We asked you over stream, like, generally, like, how is it? How's it going? Like, I thought you had three weeks off of work. Are you streaming more? Streaming less? Doing all this other stuff? It's, like, realizing that you can easily lose your drive for something out of nowhere and almost like and then get into this mentality of I'll do it later I'll do it another day so it can happen to really anyone and I exampled him as someone you as someone I admire and the other guy is kind of just being a loser who's kind of lazy so it can really happen to anyone getting in a rut and becoming lazy and saying that you will do it another day can happen to literally anyone and I, it has been happening to me. And I don't want it to happen. How I'm going to fix this, I have no idea. But I swear to you, that I'm going to try my absolute best that whenever the thought that I will do in another day pops into my head, that I will take that thought Throw it out the window because I'm doing this right now. There is no another day. I'll do it later. It is now. The time is now. There is no other time. I am 24. God damn it. There is no other time. The time is now. The time has come. Come has come. Coming. Coming. I am coming. Time is now. <laughs> there is no waiting. That is essentially it. That is, thank you for my TED talk. Welcome to my TED Talk. Uh, do, do I sound better <laughs> than before of just saying, yeah, Wingless Valkyrie, he's not a loser. Does that all start to make sense now? One of my other friends had a very similar thing. Awesome. He, at one point, when he was moving, kind of like put his streams off. Or how sometimes people will put off editing because it's hard and it takes time and you're not just like talking to a wall which I enjoy talking to a wall wall being chat it literally written on the back of my wall it says chat I'm talking to chat my wall is named chat uh, but they'll put it off They'll put off like an idea. I have tons of ideas. I have a Word document and several pages filled up with my notebook of just like ideas and things I can do. And I just don't do them. I don't do shit. Oh, and I need to fix that. I need to change my mentality towards streaming, towards working out, towards everything. And not just say I'm going to do it. I need to like literally punish myself for not doing them. I need to create the habit that bad things will happen if I don't do it because I'm just cruising along through life. You, we need more than that little rubber band to the thing. We need like getting hit by a bus and you'll make more content sort of deal. Or like rewards. Punishments for not doing something, rewards for doing something kind of like ingrain it in my head that I need to do these things because it needs to happen from the wingless Valkyrie <laughs> Oop, wait a minute audio stream bit rate wait the audio streams current bit rate zero is lower than the recommended bit rate huh hang on hang on Okay. 
comments from Wingless Valkyrie. So they're here. I'm absolutely lazy and use procrastination all the damn time. Best thing I've found that helps me is that I set far smaller goals that are very achievable and get those done. I absolutely agree. Saying that you're going to become like, oh, I'm going to have like a thousand subscribers or this many watch hours or this many views or this many things or that many things, or I'm going to make five videos this week. Break it down to one. I'm going to edit this video for an hour and get like a certain amount of it done. And not just, I'm going to make this entire video. I'm going to film this video, break it down into tiny little chunks that you can do and punish or reward yourself for doing or not doing, but make it smaller. I agree. Love doing that. And I need to do more of it because an overwhelming force or an overwhelming thing that I have to finish makes me more likely to not do something. <clears throat> and things that are like out of the blue, like this stream, that is what makes me do things. That's what drives me to do something. If it's out of the blue and I don't have the time to procrastinate, it gets done. It gets done, done. <laughs> if I plan something, I have a chance to procrastinate. If I do it right now, I had the idea and I immediately do it. Nothing goes wrong, ever. Okay, we're back to stream. Health is excellent. Other comment from Wingless Valkyrie. If you can do the small thing, then you can do the small thing over and over. And then this and that, and at the end of the day, you found that you've done a lot of small things, which add up to a lot. And if you can do those, then I, then you can do a bigger and bigger things. And then eventually those large things will become small things. And that works for me. Miley face. If you can try to deadlift 200 pounds your first day at the gym, you will fail and beat yourself up and then not try again. Start with 50 pounds and slowly build up from there over the days. <clears throat> I do agree with the analogy. However, I can already deadlift 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not trying to like put a thing on you or like do a joke for you. Actually, that is a good question. Wingless, how much do you deadlift? I want to know now. Actually, I kind of want to know. Because some people pull, like, analogies from real life. I don't know if you were able to deadlift 200 pounds on your first day. That's a good question. No idea. I've never deadlifted. Really? It's fun. I enjoy it. I can't currently do it because I, I work out at Planet Fitness. But I, when I used to work out at the YMCA, I love doing deadlifts. Also, if you don't have bars, do not deadlift on a Smith machine. It's not worth it. Don't do it. It's not, it's not a great exercise. But deadlifts are fun. <laughs> deadlifts are really, really fun. Um... To give you like an actual range, it's one of the it's one of the uh it's one of the lifts that you can actually do the most on because you're using your entire body. So you can start out at 135 for a deadlift if you're a man. That's two plates. Or that's like a plate on each side. Two plates is 225, and I can do that as well. I'm almost able to do 315, which is three plates. Mostly because like, you know you should be able to lift your body weight, and that's, like, my body weight. So being able to pull, th like, 300-ish in a deadlift is normal. You should be able to pull your own weight. I can deadlift two cats at the same time. Yo, they're probably chonkers, though. They're probably named, like, Garfield and Ronson, and they both probably weigh, like, 30 pounds each. 60-pound deadlift. Easy peasy. All the fluff easy lift 10 out of 10 <clears throat> what I should do is like oh, my reward for getting out shorts and actual videos should be going to planet fitness and getting in that massage chair and just like oh That'd be great. That's, that's, that's a good, 
that's a good way to like as a that's a good reward i'd say using like the massage chair and planet fitness because it's free for me free gift and the punishment for not getting out videos whatever that should be probably like extra work extra working out something similar Probably something like that. That'll probably be the one YouTube video that I wanted. It goes on like another channel, just like for those who missed the live stream. Basically like things to my audience. The second one. Yeah. Want to do the second one? I'm not sure if I do. Hmm. I've learned that I hate working in retail. Like, man. I hate working in to, to a degree. There are parts that I like and parts that I don't like. The parts that I don't like punishment you destroy a plushie? No. <laughs> no, no, he's my boy. My boy. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. The people that I don't like in retail are those that like yell at me and tell me to do something like a customer, because they're always right. The things I do like about retail is that i just get to like walk up to customers and go like hi how are you well hi welcome to gamestop how can i help you and like you know do all that sort of junk this is kind of fun uh the other fun part of retail is you just sit around sometimes that's neat uh probably better just to like work in a warehouse though i mean you get to deal with the same people there's not good the most you can get complained at is like by your boss or whatever it'll be fine that's enough. Enough sort of dealios. Look. I can nuzzle him into my into my neck and we give him pets. Great man. Oh boy. <laughs> like I had a guy while I was working at GameStop. He walked up to me looked at me said hey then proceeded to walk to the back where the actual like game display case is for consoles he was looking at an xbox series s i was talking to someone i was working with another customer that i happen to know and we're talking like about pokemon cards eventually this guy raises his voice and says can anyone fucking help me I've been asking several fucking times, get the fuck over here. And I look over at him. I go, excuse me? But he's also like across the store. So I'm like, what? I, I look back at the guy that I know. I'm like, give me one second. So he proceeds to like leave, which I was having a good conversation with. I walk over to the guy and he's saying like, I want that. It points to the Xbox Series S in the case. I'm like, okay. I can't get it out of the case because that's a dummy box. Go to the register. And we'll check you out. He called me for fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, all he had to do was go to the register and ask for it. Motherfucker didn't want to walk across the store. Whew. They are... Some people are painfully stupid, and I have no faith in humanity. Got a dip? Alright, I'll see you later, wingless. Have a good one. the level of entitlement when it comes to customers i have found it to be a very specific age range the age range is between eh, give or take 35 maybe 40 to about mm, 70 they get really really old they're more like ignorant than you know narcissistic 
and they don't really know what's going on because <laughs> they're old. <laughs> Just like all the people running our country, let's go. They're all over the age of 65, practically. <laughs> oh, God help us. God bless America. Hallelujah. <laughs> the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, and the audacity of this bitch. I know. I know. Like when someone, there was another one. They called me. They were getting, uh, uh, gift cards, but like online currency or Call of Duty for their kid. So the online currency they purchase is for Call of Duty, but they got it for the Xbox, but they need it for the PlayStation. Our return policy already says that you cannot return gift cards. Okay. Okay. Because like, obviously, they could easily just take all the stuff off, return it, and go, oh, I didn't use it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So they want to return it. And I tell them, I ask my boss, hey, can we do this return? He says, you know what? Screw it. Sure. I'll do this return. I'm like, okay, cool. I ask them, do you have the full receipt? They say, no. Do you have the, do you have the full receipt? And it's like, no, no, I don't have the full receipt. I only have, you know, the part that has the code on it. They don't have the actual transaction. I'm saying like, I can't do it, but you just said you'd be able to do it. Yeah. If I had the full receipt and we're going back and forth and back and forth about the exact same thing. And it's like, I want to speak to your manager. I'm like, go for it. Hand Billy the phone tells him the exact same thing. <laughs> they hang up. Billy just chucks the phone across, the, across the GameStop, hits the wall and drops. <laughs> He's just like outland, just like, these people don't understand. I am telling you one very specific thing. Nothing else works. Another one, another phone call. Someone orders something over the GameStop store online. It is something that is not available in store. It is only through the warehouse. They ask, hey, can I return this? I'm like, look, take a look. How did you pay? I paid with PayPal. The only way we can't return things, money-wise, is if you paid through PayPal. In store. So you have to go through online. And so, it was basically a console. She had already opened it, set it up, hooked it up to the internet. The reason why she wanted to return it is because she found the item at a cheaper price. So, I guess fair. She wanted to save some money for Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, like, she wants to return it. Once she's, you know, like, we're in this conversation pretty deep. <laughs> Seeing like she doesn't want to call our customer support line because she had been on there for an hour and there was still no response. Which, I mean, like, it's going to be a long time. It's around, like, the holiday season. Ba -ba -doop -ba -doop -doop -doop. Stay on the phone. You're going to be here for two hours or more because we don't suck our workers and got rid of most of them let's go <laughs> they basically fired everyone and hired a bunch of temps to work at their call center so she was going to be there for a long time and so she's trying to get like this answer out of me of like what is the return policy for this how long do i have and i'm like asking my boss like hey how long is the return policy on this and it's like i don't know it's different for both in-store and online. I tell them that. It's like, but you work at GameStop. I'm like, yes, I work at GameStop. However, they have different policies than we do. Ask your manager. I just did. He said the exact same thing. So what you're telling me is that since even though you work at GameStop, you cannot, they basically repeat the same thing, trying to get an answer out of me. And I don't have this answer. I don't have some magical thing that can tell you what the fuck to do. I don't know. Okay. I, I I don't think they... And then she's getting, like, pissy with me. Like, I've done her wrong. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Do you not understand English? I do not fucking know. How do you not understand this? I have told you. 
10 times that I do not know how to help you. Yet you ask me, how can you help me? Huh? You work at GameStop. Eventually, I just hung up because I didn't know what the fuck to do. Just call the fucking service online 1-800 number for and wait for two hours. Jesus Christ, leave me the fuck alone. I got people to work with. There was another time. Someone comes in to the store. He's asking me for a game. It was Black Friday. You gotta remember, Black Friday. Tons of people. He could have come in earlier, but he came in at rush hour. He comes in. He's asking for Little Nightmares 2 for the Switch. I'm like, okay, I'll take a look. Someone else asked me for a thing. Someone else asked me for a thing. I have to put out some other things. So I'm like, I have a cue in my head of like who the next person is to help. Eventually, he comes around. I tell him like, I'm not sure. You know, time passes. Eventually, I have to like put out these things back onto the shelf. He starts walking towards the door. Once he gets to the door, he looks at me and says, Well, you were really fucking helpful. And I look over him like, Huh? Says, Yeah, you. You didn't even help me out. And then, like, walks out the fucking door. I'm like, Bro. Bro. I. Bro. I have been working this entire time on Black Friday. What do you mean? What do you mean? You can tell that I'm working. I'm not just putting you off. I have a million customers to work with, and I have to put stuff back back on the shelf. I have to answer calls because I'm the one with the fucking telephone. Bro, I, bro, you are not the center of this goddamn universe. You are just some guy. You have your own life. Maybe just look it up. Go to another store. I don't know. It's Black Friday. Figure it out. Jesus Christ. Some people have... Mm, they have this, 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 this idea in their head that the, the, the entire world... You have the world. We will take the globe. The globe is now my head. Somewhere inside my head, they are spinning around there. They're having a great old grand time because the world revolves around them. It's, it drives me insane. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get any worse after working in retail, but then I worked in food. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's up, DJ? Sorry, you gotta go through all this nonsense. It is what it is. I'd say the easiest job I've ever had, at least as far as like customers go, and like, you know, dealing with, eh, mm, Dealing with people. Probably being a lifeguard. Yeah, probably being, probably being a lifeguard. Being a lifeguard is pretty easy. I will say. It's pretty easy. You just stare at people and wait for them to drown. And if they don't, good, <laughs> good job. You don't have to do your job. Easy peasy. But you're put in a position of authority as well. So people will instantly respect you because you're the one that goes, whistle, no running on the pool deck. So kids will instantly respect you and kind of like understand that you are the authority here. <laughs> Streaming is the easiest. Uh, this isn't my job. <laughs> this is not my job. Also, I'd say like streaming in its own way is very hard. Because you're not the instant authority, and you actually have to drag people here to make it a living, you know, like a livable job. You have to, you know, stay relevant. You have to actually buy things, and then write them off as tax write-offs. But before you can even write them off as tax write-offs, you actually have to have make money. So if you don't even make money, you can't even write them off as tax write-offs because it's your hobby and not your job. You have to make over a certain amount for it to even be considered your job. So, wee! <laughs> as a lifeguard, you sit there and you do nothing. <laughs> and even better, when I worked that lifeguard job, you can kind of like see which people are more susceptible to... Uh, I'm putting that in a very, very strange way. You can find people who you can basically hit on for, for the time. Like when the pool's like about to close and you're like, you're getting towards closing time. And you're like, you've been hitting on someone who's been like swimming for like an hour and a half. And like, you know, 
they get to hang out with you afterwards or something like that. You know, that's fun. Something like that. I've had that happen like twice. It was neat. Uh, that was the only time I've, <laughs> I've gotten someone to date me from work, which was fun in its own way. But, you know, it's like not a living job. Uh, working at a warehouse. It was also kind of fun. Uh, you do have to, like, you know, deal with coworkers. Some coworkers are nice. Some coworkers are kind of a pain in the ass. And then you have to deal with HR, which will be also a pain in the ass. Be real with you. I'm not really sure which type is the best. Let me see here. What have I not worked in? I have not worked in food industry. I haven't worked in, like, fast food, which is also, like, customer service. Uh, but it's not retail. I haven't worked in, I guess, customer service and food. Those are the two I have not worked in yet. I've worked in the warehouse. I've worked retail. i worked essentially like first responder. We'll, we'll count that under lifeguard. You, know, you need to learn like a bunch of certifications and all that other junk. And if you fail to do your job, you will get sued. <laughs> Fun. Fun stuff. Let's see here. The other jobs I've worked. I worked at another, like another cashier for like a local game store. Oh, I've done gig work. Food delivery. I'm trying to think of. I have had other jobs. Why am I just blanking on them? Oh, at a trade. Upholstery. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That was like my latest job. Why did I even forget about that? So I've worked on a bunch of things. Like actual like repair work. Shipping work. Both the shipping that takes them in the trucks, out of the trucks, and actually driving the truck. I've done deliveries, like small, smaller deliveries for both food, couches, and otherwise. We've worked at actually putting things out in retail, the actual like janitorial side of retail, basically being the only worker at like that sort of retail, the actual retail that's like, hey, I'm going to suggest you things and then have you actually buy them. <clears throat> So the only thing I don't have are like truly big retail, which would be like Walmart, Target, uh, food industry. It's like McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, and like pure honest to God customer service. So like being like a call representative, which I kind of want to be because that means I can, I can work from home. I have a really good microphone. I can connect my phone to my computer and get calls through that so being like a call representative would kind of be nice i would kind of really like that i get to be home uh in my comfy chair or even better i can move this thing because this thing's on a boom as you can see by the boom arm in this little thing we can stick the boom arm back there hang out chill and like uh i'll receive calls say hey uh welcome uh uh to uh uh to fucking uh uh blah, 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 blah. Someplace. Hi, this is such and such. Uh, do you have such and such a problem? Because I can such and such help you today. I don't know. I didn't. Something like that. I don't really want to go back to working in retail. I've had my fun. Uh, the only reason to work in a warehouse over like anything else is to get the experience of a uh, well, not the experience. I'm just get, making more money. I pay so much better than like everywhere else. Like, um, like an average warehouse will pay you somewhere in the range of. Also, I'm just starting up Scarlet. Warehouses will pay you in the range of. Oh, let me see here. 15, 18 bucks. Hey, see you later, did you? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the like, by the way. And so, like, it's really appealing to, like, beat yourself senseless working on a warehouse to just, like, make money so you're able to, like, do more things outside of work. That's kind of nice. Although, I'm going to look more into what the Starlight has sent me, the four-hour work week, which I've been listening to. It's pretty good so far. And uh, the other video he sent me, something like making a certain amount of money in whatever you call it. And... I might do something. I might do something that I said I wouldn't do, but I might do it anyway. You know how I quit Twitch? I mean, you know how I quit Twitch. There. 
I might multi-stream the Twitch. Why? Why, you may ask? Because Twitch has a little thing called Amazon Prime. Prime sub Twitch. Because money. Money does, in fact, talk. When it becomes big enough, I don't have to stream on Twitch, then I won't stream on Twitch. However, part of me says, okay, think about it. You can gain... The goodbye Twitch stream was pretty fucking amazing. I, I, I made such good Twitch streams. Like, I'm a decent streamer. Like, I've been just able to talk this entire time about, like, other things that are just, like, going on in my life and just, like, stories and all that. Like, there are people who should not stream. And those are people who can't just, like, talk for hours and hours and hours. People who have actual social interaction and don't understand how to talk to yourself for hours on end. Those people shouldn't be streaming. But I think doing small Twitch streams like small streams on YouTube and Twitch by multi-streaming, even though Twitch says you can't multi-stream it, we can ban you. Oh, well, whatever. Who cares? We'll expand the audience a little. But in the end, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to go back to Twitch, of all places? Twitch? Twitch? Damn. I don't know. Hmm. I don't want to go back to Twitch, but man, money says you should go back to Twitch. Talking about my ex already, and we're only on the first stream. Ah! Hurts. Hurts, man. It hurts. <clears throat> I'm going to have to learn what the... What the audio stream thing means for being a lower bit rate. Are you changing the brand at Eurobeats Radio? <laughs> and we'll have to change the brand back to Nerd of Chaos, but I can't do that for like 90 days. I think we've already passed the 90 day threshold, so I'm pretty sure I can just change the name again. You know what? Let's see that now. Let's see if I can actually change the name. Let's open this up in English. We'll just put on that music in the background. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's bring up a tab. Excuse me. Uh, reload Tic Tac and see if anything's popped off. Nah, not really. I think that's okay. I wonder why certain videos get a lot of viewers and some of them... Pokemon, Pokemon cards, CG. What's up, po Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Sound, Pokemon. Come on, nerd. He likes. Okay. Uh, I actually need to upload. So I have this thing of uploading when I upload the TikTok. You were... When I upload the TikTok. I upload it, like, basically an hour apart at the same time every day. So let's let's do that, too. Uh, what do I want to upload? Let's upload one of the funny ones. Let's upload the Long Long Man video. Because I'm basically, like, converting over, like, some of my shorts content to TikTok. See if I can gather, like, a little bit more of an audience. And drag them over here. It's having more viewers on YouTube. Now we're talking. Man. Wiggle it. Hashtag... Pokemon. Hashtag 
Pokemon. Let's actually not put Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's put Meme. <laughs> Memes. TCG. I'm down for that. Uh, let's put down meme meme review and then uh memes tiktok sure pokemon Come on, funny. <laughs> We're just gonna put that on there. And then we'll check Twitch. Oh, ye old Twitch. Let's see her. Let's go under channel. Hey, Tortoisushi is live. He's playing Lego Star Wars? Wow. He's playing the Lego Star Wars. How do I change things again on Twitch? I can't even remember. Uh, creator dashboard. Because <clears throat> I still want to receive some amount of revenue from it. Twitch did give, like, pennies on the dollar worth of revenue, which YouTube isn't giving any, any right now, so maybe, maybe. Uh, what would that even be? Settings? Channel? Update emote prefix display name username. Oh, it's every 60 days. Actually, you know what? Nerd of chaos. This username is unavailable. Oh, <gasps> nerd of chaos was taken. I put spaces in it. Usernames must contain only alphabetical characters. <gasps> Bro, someone took Nerd of Chaos while I was gone. Who? Who did this? I only had it gone for the minimum amount of time. Nerd of Chaos. Bro. I think mean, there's someone called Nerd O Chaos. Bro, someone took Nerd of Chaos. No way. No way. N E R D. O O. No, it said it would be released to, like, public usernames after six months, but it hasn't even been six months. Right? It hasn't been six months since my last Twitch stream. Nerd of Chaos. Maybe I have to actually just, like, put an underscore underneath it. Nerd of Chaos underscore. Oh, wait. Underscore TCG. I'll just do that. Update it. Verify. I have to send it to my phone. Also, I'm getting hungry. I want food. I wish to consume. I've been eating pretty well lately, because I've actually been able to make my food. I'm actually able to, like, make things. But, like, uh... Like, cook. Not just, like, eat out and all this other junk. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You feel better. 
Rid of Chaos TCG. Oh, we're here. Uh, channel. And update the actual. Oh, I have to. This thing back to Twitch. Because it changes the username. Here. Load this. Honestly, Twitch kind of blows. I was able to change it back, but. Eh. 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 Why would I want to go back to Twitch? Kind of sucks. That's bad. Bad place to be. Not great. It's like some people say hell ain't a bad place to be, but it's not really where you want to be. You know? Twitch isn't a bad place to be, but it's not like a great place to be. I forgot to even put hashtags into this. Let me think. But there are. Other streaming sites. Now let me bring up one. I'm going to bring you up two different streaming sites. Twitch and Trovo. Or Kick, I bet. Kick and Trovo. There are these things. This is Kick. Uh, it does not have a lot of people actually watching it. The majority... Ooh! Who is this just chatting streamer? It's like huge. Oh, who the hell are you? Good question. Who are you? It's in Russian. So some massive Russian streamer, someone streaming One Piece, someone streaming the basketball game? Yep, someone streaming a basketball game. Well, okay. Someone using the default. Whoever this person is streaming Fortnite. Anyway, it looks like Twitch, but it's run by someone else. And the reason why they even started in the first place was so they could do this. Gambling. Because which was, you know, Twitch banned gambling, which I do agree with. Just everything else is not great. The other place is Trovo. Now, Trovo has another problem that inherently comes with it. Shut up. Uh, it's run by the same people that run this website. Tic Tac. So... You know, sell your soul to the Chinese government, basically. Uh, they will give you, like, handouts for getting over, like, a certain amount of viewers and whatnot. Oh, look, titty streamers. Oh, look, titty streamers. Oh, look, titty streamers. Oh, look, titty streamers. This place is kind of <laughs> infested. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? What is this? <laughs> All right, I, I give up. I give up. Oh, into me. All right, let's see here. Trending. What's trending? Chit chat. Chit chat. Not just chatting. It's called chit chat. Oh wow! Look. Let me spread my legs, air it out. <laughs> what is this this site? This site. Someone's just streaming what the fuck is this? 
Excuse me? I don't... I don't, I don't like this. I don't like it. We need to go back. I know the girl was sewing. But, but we can watch Pablo. We can watch this, like, cursed shit. Oh, get it out of my face, please. Here, let's go to the actual sewing one. Maybe she's actually not just woman on the internet. Or where was it? Uh, nope. I don't see anything. That was a cat. This type of pussy I like, you know what I mean? Probably really just... Hang out with a cat. People are temporary. Cats are forever. In theory. Until they die and then you go... Ugh! See, it's got like a tiny bit of viewership. Like, let's see here. Uh, who's playing Pokemon? Whoop. Who is playing Pokemon? Zero in the trading card game. Zero for Shining Pearl. Zero for Mystery Dungeon. Zero for this. Zero for Gale of Darkness. Pokemon. Scarlet. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Four viewers. Bro. <laughs> There's like nothing here. Pokemon. Just Pokemon. Bro, there isn't even anyone on for Scarlet and Violet. Oh my god. Look at this. There's not a soul on here. Nothing. There is nothing here. Now, with the Pokemon one, on Trovo, there's probably like maybe a chance at getting someone to pull in. A kick? Like, goddamn. There's not a soul on here. See how long, long man doing. Still pulling nothing. Good job. I realize when, when it comes to TikTok videos, it takes a while for the analytics to even come in. They're probably neither of these sites. These are probably both bad sites to pick. Also, I need to change where the display capture is coming from. Give me one second, because I want to look up while I'm playing. Or Fivor. Background, display capture. Properties. Nope, that's not it. Properties. Display capture, display three? No. Display one. Yeah! Speaking of no one watching Scarlet and Violet. It me. We play Scarlet and Violet. Because, <laughs> uh... I just, like, I haven't played it yet. Also, for, uh, my POV. Or to give you my POV. TV. Look into the light, chat. Look into the light. Look at it's you. It's me. It's you. It's me. It's you. It's you. It's me. It's a empty monitor. It's the game. That that is essentially what's going on here. Also, man, I'm getting really hungry now. We're going to pick as our little bean. Do I want to be man or woman? What do I even want to do here? We're already hour into stream. And no gameplay. I'd say if I had to pick one. Hmm, it's between her or her. Because I like being the girls in a Pokemon game. You get better clothing that way. It looks nice. 
Nah, we're going with this one. Oh, oops, I went. We're picking you. Uh, what's her name? Obviously. It's nerd. Just want nerd of chaos. We just want nerd. I think we just want nerd. I'm a nerd. Ooh. Okay, no, we ain't doing that. Uh, yo, we can be like Rika. More importantly, this is my haircut, but I would just be a woman. Actually, you know what? Since they have my haircut, we're going to be a guy. We'll be a, we'll be a dude. We'll be a white boy go to with the sauce. Cuz they actually have my haircut. No 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 no. Fuck. All right. I have to close out the game. Because I'm misclicked. My level of irritation. I get like really frustrated. I start start speaking like fake German. Because I don't know how to actually speak German. But I know how to make. The two block? Is what they called it? Yo, we got the two block. It's meant to be called like an undercut. Excuse me, but I'd like to speak to your manager. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's see here. It's a f space bun. Oh, it's Chibi Doki. Yeah, you were going to two block. Ash brown. Uh, yeah, that's probably about right. Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't realize we could have non. No way. We can have scarlet hair for Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> Ash purple. Oh, wow, they have a lot of colors. What the fuck? Well. Guess I'll be straight. Uh I'll be straight tired white man. <laughs> Actually just be me. And <laughs> yeah, we got the big eyes. Uh my eyes are green. Guess this. We gotta, we gotta be angry. We have the thick eyebrows. Oh. 
Thick eyebrows. <laughs> wait, we can have the little cat face? Oh wait, oh, those are duck lips, I think. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, that's like a duck lip. See, there, there's the little cat three face. Uwu notices your Pokemon. See her where? Bro, these are all practically the same. Give me something good. Picking the cat face. Uh. Wow, that changes nothing. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized something even better. Because my, you know, lips are at least a color. You know, even like a light color. I realize you can't have. Can you not have black lipstick? Bro. Bro. It's a beauty spot. Oh, a mole. Mine's right here, I think. Give me a second. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this atomically correct. Right here. Off on the side of my cheek. Not under my eye, it's not something cute. Oh, now you can have multiples. Oh, that's it. Sure, I'll give myself... I like to call it a beauty spot. <sighs> Look. So, there is a level of temptation that burns inside me that mm, I really want to make the character like a cute lass, but there's also a part of me that wants to just make it me. And this would be me. Th this is boring. If we make the lass, we give her curly red hair, the freckles. There's so much potential. The potential. Even Alfred picks the chick for his... You know what? Screw this. I am not being me. We are, we are picking... We are picking the cutest anime girl physically known to man. We are still going to name her Nerd. Surprised you can't have glasses. That throws me off a bit. Hairstyle. Where is the curly hair? Wait, we need the space bolts. Hmm. Is there really no curly hair? Really? Hmm. I guess we'll go a typical side braid and we have to make it red. I wonder if there's more like a realistic red. Platinum blue. Wine red. Ooh, that's cute. Let's go regular red. Then we get the, this thing, and now... How to make it something instantly cute. 10 out of 10. Now we have... <laughs> Hi, welcome to Wendy's. How may I take <laughs> Yes! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I've been talking about. Woo! Did it.
you know the red does not work I think it's... gotta give the little cat face again <laughs> Our color has also got to be red. Then eyebrows. Eyelashes are also red. Yeah, that's probably better. Color contacts. Usually, we've done it. We've done it. We've literally done it. Look at this. We have created the perfect specimen. She is smug. She is ready to defeat the Pokemon League champion. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You also like red hair and freckles? Let me tell you. Redheads with freckles. And if they wear like a skirt and like tight thigh highs. That's the shit right there. That is peak. That is peak. That is peak hot. By like a long shot. Welcome to the academy. <clears throat> now the real question is, can I skip classes? Can I can I skip the intro? No, I can't even skip the intro. Also, we got to deal with this bitch the entire time. I've been playing a lot of Persona Five lately, and so like having things in the school setting is kind of like ingrained in my head for a little bit. Aldea, sprawling region, bursting with a lush blah 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 blah. I just want to beat you. I want to beat you up with my Pokemon. It's also, of course, the home to mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. Oh, wow. They reside here in a great number, in fact. Oh. But you don't have the national decks. Hmm. That's a nice 2,000 calories right there. The cute 2,000 calories, if I do say so myself. Well, can they, they can be found everywhere. Oh, look, a Jigglypuff. Mid-jump. Heard also shinies can be duped here, except you patched it out. But you didn't patch out anything else. There's a rock. Cool. I swear, I wish I could just skip past the tutorial. Or this, like, entire intro sequence that they spent way too much time having me not be able to skip. Oh, can you not? Please. Yeah. Coridon! Coridon these nuts! My boy. That's kind of neat. For being able to fly so fast, he has very tiny wings and very large, 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 yeah, large, large arms. Like fall asleep mid-flight.
Is that the chat hot of this game? It's also my house. Wow. I'm upper middle class, maybe, because I live on, like, a coastal thing. My house will be destroyed in five years because of global warming. And I'm doing schoolwork, homework. <laughs> what a loser. Look at this loser. What a nerd. Get up, you dumb shit. I'm looking at you. Come on, hurry up. I don't... What the fuck? I'm sorry. Do you see this? Do you see the frames literally- Wait, hold up. Bro, the frames drop when I'm- Oh my god. You're not- No way. Do the frames- I can feel the frames drop. When I move from side to side. Oh, I'm- I'm- your bag and hat are here, but it's not time to get ready. I fi Can I run? Why is this so slow? Okay, tech speed. Go to fast. Uh, s skip move learning. Skip move learning. Send a box, automatic, give nicknames. On vertical camera controls. Killer, horizontal, auto save is on. I'm going to turn that off. Go nicknames, show, skip cutscenes on. Roll remember. Yes. Because, man, I want to get through this as fast as humanly possible. Do not want to deal. Oh my god, my character walks... More importantly... Where are your feet? Your foot is inside the stair! Oh... 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 Bro, I'm... Oh, I'm so sad. Could they not? Like, all other Pokemon games did not have this bad a collision. What's up? Squirrel? I think it's Greedent? What's the... Snovel? Sno... No. So slow. Title Patchwork Light. Yeah, that's that describes this game. Patchwork Light. Are you ready to go out? I wasn't trying to. A bunch of these nuts. Literally, your mouth is full of nut. Mama, I want to leave. Mama. Mama. Mama, get me out of this shitty game. Mama. Mama. Wait, she's kind of hot. Uh, I'm not going to lie, she's kind of hot. I would absolutely bang the... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Idea. Ideas just popped into my head. I, I need to write this down. I need to write this down. I must write this down. It's in my content ideas... Uh, word file. Rank all the Pokemon moms by smash ability. Save and close. <laughs> uh, very important for your state to arrive. Ding dong. Is this my rival slash boy that will goat me up with the sauce? 
Come here. Where are you? Don't forget the intrusion. Oh, you're just my teacher. Thanks for coming to my house. Miss Nerd? Yes. On behalf of the Academy, I apologize for... Apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents and also the... Introducing myself. You are Mick... Cavell? Also, I gotta remember, this thing is... No, it's not France. It's Spain. The other... Gen 6 was supposed to be France. Guys. Eat. No, you are not banging my mom. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> One thing I still like from Pokemon Legends Arceus is the stupid expressions that they make. She's just... She's pocking. The director... <laughs> failures on its part. What are you talking about me? Dude, I'm a failure. I'm a failure in life. Let's go. Hang out with me. Take responsibility on me. Why won't you? I'm about to take responsibility of your mom. Speaking of tea, I kind of want some tea. Why don't you head back up to your room? Finish getting ready for school. Yep, I'll need my hat and bag. Why didn't I just grab that first? I wanted to, but you wouldn't let me. And now I have to walk slowly because there's no run button. Oh! Up the glitchy stairs to press the button to let me in. Give me my stuff. Yes! Put it on! You slow sack of garbage. Jesus. I miss some Pokemon games that just like let you just do. Why does she walk so slow? And just oh my stair collision. More importantly, she doesn't like go down each individual stair. She just goes. <laughs> She goes from, like, looking straight on to, like, moments she goes down the stairs, like, her entire body is just, like, shifted, like, slightly downwards. The entire thing. <laughs> ah! Why is this game so bad, man? Oh. Oh, it kills me. Drives me nuts. And even with fast text, it's still so slow. Oh my god. <clears throat> Time to play a very, very slow game of Follow the Leader. Come on. Come on. Come on. Even the loading times are for- oh my god. I can't even tell if this is like loud enough. I know what to fix this. So this thing's taking forever. Let's turn up the game audio. <laughs> Time to come out of the Pokeball. Yo, the Pokemon are coming out. Didn't even know he was gay. We're picking the fire starter. Come here. Come here. Let me pick him. 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 Hurry up. Hurry up. Your explanation. Also, thank you for picking Fire Crocodile because Fire Crocodile is the only good starter because the other two look like they're from like fucking Furfinity or like be turned easily into something from rule 34. I just want the- why did my screen glitch out? Ooh, we got the phone. I love using the phone. Also, Mother, I- I really, I really want to get the Pokemoning, man. Also, I want food. I'm hungry. You're running away. Come here. Come here. I pick you. 
Can I not pick you yet? Bro. What? Don't tell me I have to walk. Slowly. All the way. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you serious? I can run? You're... Bro, you just now let me run? It... Or you're like stuck with this whole thing. Now, now I can run. It will only let you run once it wastes your time. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Hello, rival. The annoying person who just fucks my ear off. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Give me my Pokemon. I don't care. Give me my Pokemon. Sure, I'll be friends with you. I'll do whatever you say. Just leave me alone. Jesus Christ. Miss Nerd. Yes. Pick one. I already decided. Please, 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 please. Let me bring you up. Where are my friends now? What happened to the shadows, by the way? Are they all, like, glitchy and shit. Yes. Like, you can literally count the pixels in the shadows. Do you see that? You can count the pixels in the shadows. What is this? Wait, Coco. B. Only. Good. We're naming him this. I meant to name him Pee Pee Poo Poo, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I meant to name him something else, but you know what? So be it. He's now P. So I fucked up in the name setting. <laughs> sure. Guess I'll have to battle you then. We deal with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm gonna rename him. Because I can actually name him in the menu. I'm going to name him Little Piss Boy. That's what he is. Ah, oh, you picked the... Oh, she picked the weed cat. God. Oh. Good deal with you. Hang on, wait a minute. Whatever. Bag. Options? No. Coco. Check summary. Uh, change nickname. Yes. Boy. <laughs> oh, great. 10 out of 10. Oh, why did you have to go so far away? Counting the frames to get... NPC. I wave. Yes, I will battle you. Bring it. Little bitch. Thank you for holding my hand through this entire... God knows how long I've been playing this game. A 
So what's up with this Yu-Gi-Oh looking glove? Alright, when does Piss Boy learn fire moves, or does it already know one? Can't even skip her text. Oh my god. Ha, <laughs> Lamau. See how long it took? There was like a pause. And then she said something about like, oh wow, you must have... <laughs> Rule 34 move. Oh, you must have learned. Done things like it. Yeah. I wish there was like a setting that said like, turn off the bullshit. I swear. I now want to play this game because there's a combo in Pokemon VGC Standard that I want to play. Whoa. And it's great. It's like Don Dozo. I'll play Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, Don Dodo, the Don Dan, the Don Fan, the Don Dozo. I just one more battle can't. <clears throat> I'm really sorry, nerd. Same for you. Okay, don't worry about it. Let's battle again soon. Don't be beat your ass, you dumb bitch. I might actually play a bit of this off stream because man, this is taking forever. You can hear me mashing the A button, right? There is just nothing. I feel like it, just get me, get, get get me to the Pokemon, please. Get me to the Pokemon, please. Little Quaxley. I will admit, Quaxley is cute, but it's evolution. Evolution is terrible. have an animation in sword and shield when you were when you were spinning around you did like the little paw you did like the you know the but now you just kind of fall over that is <sighs> wonder can you can you go vertical on these on these stairs too yep you you you, you go vertical like walk on the stair Yeah, you kind of go for Or a horizontal. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Did you up? Where are you? That's at the gate? Or, talking to my mother? How dare you. I'll beat you up. Man, she is really just getting rid of me. Oh, she gave me a sandwich. Thanks, Ma. Give me a sandwich. Is she really gonna have to teach me how to catch shit? Oh, I swear to God. Please, no. Uh, let me see here.
So I'm not able to... Oh. I wonder how I'm able to, uh... Like, look for, like, mystery gifts and whatnot. Oh. What's that? What? How'd I do that? I can slide? can play like it's Apex. My goodness. Oh. We slide. It's Pico Path, but where are the pine cone? Wait a minute. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was like a, a shiny pig. Like in the cutscene. I was about to like flip my lid. A Pokeball. Oh, cool, thanks. Take your balls. Oh look, a little chunk. I'm gonna kill it. I'm not gonna I'm I'm not. See, I'm not going to catch it. I'm going to kill it. It is time to make bacon. You. Bacon. You turn into bacon. You turn into bacon. Oh. Tackle plus Ember does not two shot. Okay. Big. <laughs> She's getting 10 Pokeballs. Oh my god. Just, just let me do my own thing. Let, let me beat up Pokemon. What if I don't even want to go to school? School's lame. He has little chunk hair. Yeah, I do. Oh, <gasps> Pop-Ips. How early you can run into a shiny? Before we get to school, let's just, like, slaughter the innocent. And also, like, raise my level. Do a little bit of grinding for the sake of grinding a little. Just for fun. School's lame. Let's go to school. Oh, let's skip it. Two shot now. Still didn't. Food. <gasps> Taco Boy. I don't know how long ago that was. Oh, that was very recent. I didn't see Taco Boy. Hello, Taco Boy. How would go? How would do? It's been many, many times. Many months. Oh, it's been a whole year. Ha 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 ha. Or, or I haven't seen you this year, sort of. Whatever. The joke, the joke was funny, the joke was not funny. I had someone call me on Discord, like, five minutes before midnight, while I was doing something else. 
and they, they called me. I'm like, what's up? I can text because I didn't pick up. So like, I said nothing. So I ended up calling him back. And then he said, huh, I'll talk to you in the new year. And then hung up. I said nothing. It's just... I should probably check what EVs these stupid people have, because otherwise I might just be giving them, like, terrible EVs. Oh no, it's a level 4 Lechonk. I'm playing the Mario Maker. Mario Maker's a blast. Until you play it way too much. Then it is no longer a blast. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, a Lechonk hair does. Have all these items. Give you a revive this early? Wow. Okay. Can you show us the Vaporeon in the jar? Yes. Vaporeon. In the jar. It's in the jar with Vaporeon. Because Vaporeon is always in the jar. Also, I might need to take a break in like a second to grab some like some tea. Free him from the jar. Part of his tail broke off. I mean, that back on him. See me the Vaporeon, the Vaporeon with the tail on him. I think we're missing a piece. Oh well. That's fine. Vaporeon is free. If we can just take off this little part, this little chunk. Oh, it's missing quite a bit. Oh, that also looks like a Vaporeon. It's fine. Vaporeon. He is free. He is now on my desk. You look. <clears throat> Why is one of these little chunks bigger than the other? Vaporeon is free! The chunk is dead. <gasps> hey, this must be the rare Pokemon of the route. If you live, you are on the team. Oh, scatterbug! Hey, you. Can I? Can I annoy you? 
pick the tree or something? Almost level eight. I have three thousand three hundred and ninety-five hours in Mario Maker. Jesus Christ! I have a decent chunk too, but I don't. I don't have over a thousand. I think I have like six hundred. It's somewhere in there, like six hundred and some hours, Mario Maker. Look, another scatterbug. There's a Pokemon Center along the way. <sighs> Are you catching Pokemon okay? I see you've caught. I've caught nothing. All I've been doing is murder. Murder. I have been doing murder. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Being slow. Jump, jump, jump. Do a flip. Oh my goodness, we literally jumped and fell and... What? How did- what? Huh? 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 How did we not just like die there? I checked you have like 200. Oh. Thought I had more. Oh. Good the poor curve. Eat a sandwich, you dumb lizard. It's a very weird eating enemy. The very, very weird eating action. Huh. I did. <laughs> Just, do you not just see how it like teleported ahead of me? Excuse me? Huh? Why did you teleport? I have to like wait for this dumb lizard to like move faster? Bro. 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 Bro.
I'm managing to live my best life. This item first. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Oh. Guess you know Rock Smash early. So like... Brother, why are you so slow? Oh, look, a Houndoom. Ugh. It's Donald Trump unevolved. It's more Donald Trump unevolved. <gasps> Dig. Dig man, the man who digs. Right on you. You go so slow. Excuse me, let me grab the item that I was trying to grab. The item go. Where'd the item go? Go right here! Where'd the item go? So we're not gonna fight against a digger. That sounds like a terrible item. Let's fight a gum shoes. Oh there there there's the item. What level are you? Level three, it's not worth it. I'm not worth the time. Oh my god, running from a battle takes forever. around here an invisible wall my favorite <laughs> to even program the, the visible wall there still nope <laughs> Jesus Christ I have to follow him oh my god you gotta be kidding me Look, it takes forever! Go! Go! <laughs> I thought I actually stuck myself in there. Come on. Eh? Eh? Oh my god. This game runs so... So slow. The Houndoom. What's up? Hello, dog. What's up, dog? Maybe like level 12 or something. <gasps> ah. Dude, just use Dragon Tail. I will admit, these animations are kind of nice. are pretty cool. I don't like how he's standing on two legs though. Kinda kinda giving me like a furry vibe. I hate I hate, I hate how that the initial thought from a Pokemon game, but you know what? I have been forced. <laughs> he walks slow though. 
very slow walking dinosaur. Huh? Why are my frames like just like oh this game is this game is slow. So it says 80% poll. There were five different votes. Wow, the majority was like Firecroc. Oh my god. Oh, we got Swift. That's what you give me? Yo, someone else is playing Mario Maker 2. I ride you yet? I ride you yet? <laughs> Hello. Hang on, more importantly, I want to see that animation from the side. Just inside my head. Okay. Very epic. Oh, now you're not there anymore. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This game needs some work. Look, it's Hiker Man. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wow. Doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue is the world of Pokemon is doing out here. Fucking little bitch. Quite the uh, you're worthy of a test, you're worthy of sure. Kick your ass. Oh, he even rolled up his sleeves. Self entitled prick. Five Scoville. How cute. It automatically heals me before every battle, too? Bro. Bro. This game is like a little too hold your handy. Also, like. More importantly, you see Cryodon back there? He's licking. And then going like this, like he's like cleaning himself, but he's not even bringing up his hand. 
What? Huh? I'm sorry? It's like missing half the animation. Plus these loading screens are something else. Take forever. Hmm. Cool. A Pokeball. What a weirdo indeed. He just puts it in the ball. She just puts it in the ball. Bro. Bro, she just put him in the ball. Didn't say a word. It just happened. I'm at the top of the lighthouse. I'm just gonna... Where's the save button again? This. Oh, they... Wait. In her default stand around, does she actually wave? Ah, whatever. You want. See the big Pokemon thing? It's gonna be having the same class. Uh all the schoolwork. Yeah, I don't I don't want the score. Oh. Already gone to Pokemon school, dude. None of the Pokemon Oh. Again, why do why do the Pokemon games have to hold your hand like an hour? When I could have just been doing this since the beginning. I wouldn't have to deal with you. Like, at all. Like, just let me deal with you for five minutes. And nothing else. Five minutes. That's the, that is the extent I want to deal with. Five minutes. I already know how to play the game. Give me the ability. Say no, I don't want the tutorial. No, I don't care about the rival. I don't. Even when you run slow. Okay, hey, let's battle. No. Save again. Man, I want food. I require food. I am hungry. a weasel. So is this a pickleball? It is. A berry. Oh, it's a Meryl. A weasel and a Psyduck. Obviously we take the blue because... But let's just grab this weasel real quick. You with Nimber, and then you get in the ball. Get you with a round, and then you get in the ball. Alright. It's ball time. Cool. 
not. Furry. Oop, oop. Ourselves a whooper. Give me, give, give me the item. Give me the item. I'll deal with you. Considering how long it takes to run from a battle. There we go. Can I go into the water? Nope. I die. I die if I go into the water. Look at him! He's a little ugly buff. Aww. I'll kill it. Ew. Dog. Mmm. I like Jigglypuff, but I don't like Wigglybuff. Wigglybuff's ugly. There's a reason why I have three different Jigglypuffs. And no... Wiggly buff. <laughs> or wiggly tough. Wiggly tough's ugly as sin. There's a Pokemon Center, blah, blah blah. Look at the guy in the background! Look at him walk so slow! Jesus Christ. And the two Fletchenders. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this game. Bro, if it's gonna be in frame, at least make it run at like not 3 FPS. Gave me money. to hang out with me? Follow me? Or not. Back in the wall. Oh. What? Oh! Ice cream. Why not? I am now taking ice cream. I don't know how I feel about this animation. It's kind of mid. You know what? Oh, there it is. There's the Pokeport. Okay, cool. I can grab my junk. Mystery gift. Check mystery gifts. It's found. Uh... As we connect to the internet. Cool, we got a Pikachu.
So wait a minute. They're like surprise. Yeah, I can do surprise trades. Anywho. I. I'm getting hungry. Very famished. Very, very much would like to nom some shite. So I'm gonna let you go. Uh, it was fun being back for a bit. When will I come back? Uh. <laughs> I have no idea. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I'll, I'll be back. I'm just going to stream whenever I feel the urge to stream, basically, to make it fun. Got the urge to stream, then we'll stream. Uh, when it comes to videos and actual content, I will do more of the we need to do this. Because streaming doesn't really in create a bigger, a bigger audience. Whereas... The other stuff does it expands your audience. Anyway, it's been a fun time hanging out with all y'all. I hope you have an awesome time. And until we meet again, adios, au revoir, and advilizen. Good night. Told me the stream will end immediately.